Nobody really taught me how to rope other than within my family, I would say. I never did like an actual private school from some professional rope or anything like that. It was some just mainly self-taught within the family. I, my dad ropes, my, my uncles rope, and everybody around the house ropes. So it's just something that we did every day and something we enjoyed doing. Anybody that ropes, the light bulb will go on and off. I mean, sometimes you'll rope so good one day and the light bulb's on, and then you get up the next morning. Heck, you can't even, don't even know what you're doing or why you're even doing it, and the light bulb's off. So, <laughs> a light bulb can go on and off. To me, there ain't no exact, like, spot where I just went from here to here. I think it was just every day, every day step, every day working at a deal. I always dreamt about being a successful roper and want to make the NFR and just be a good header or whatever. But it wasn't like, it was one of those things where, you know what, it's not, it's not all about that. I might not never achieve that, but that's what I would like. And you could just go step by step, day by day, accomplish one thing, move up, accomplish another thing. I mean, no, you don't know where you're going to end up. My rope ability, I think, I think I reached my max. That's what I think. I don't think I can get no better. But like horsemanship wise, there's room for that. Horsemanship is something that you got to work on every day. You got to keep your horses going. You got to keep your horses working right. That's what I think is the difference between a lot of good guys and a lot of guys that don't have that much success is the horse power and the horsemanship ability. Heck, they've been breeding those Corrieni steers from Mexico for, they've been inbred 20 different times and crossed the border and they're skinny and furry and then you get these big quarter horses that are, that are bred up to bred so good in and out and both top side, bottom side, and those inbred steers can still outrun them horses sometimes. Heck, we don't know. <laughs> I'm from a little community called Ceiba del Cay, Arizona. It's on, the, it's on the Navajo Reservation, and I represent the, the Navajo tribe. That's who I am. And I think they're by far the best fans. I, I can see that myself. I mean, just being who I am and where I'm from, they give me great support just by, I mean, seen them along the road or down the road or at the coffee shop or I mean the social media stuff so I, I know who's all out there and how much support I have which I'm grateful for. My name is Derek Begay and I wrote 